Boris McLaughlin, Charm City Sports Insider. I'm with a good friend, Harry Martin, um, head coach, Patterson Clippers, four times in five years, coach. Well, you know, I mean, like you said, we, we had talked about uh, the times when you were on our staff taking over a program that was 2-17, uh, and 17, and to be able to do the last five years to make it down to the University of Maryland has been uh, pretty impressive. But, you know, all of our credit goes to our players. They've been putting in a lot of hard work, uh, a lot of effort in practice, uh, and I'm just excited for them and our, for our seniors. Okay, Coach, um, this was the first year that um, the Baltimore City League went to the home-and-home -home series. How do you think that helped you guys prepare for your tournament run? Well, you know, with that, it was a battle every night. There was no off nights. Facing teams like Lake Clifton, Edmondson, City, uh, Polly, uh, Dunbar, those teams every night uh, twice throughout the year uh, prepared us, I think, for the playoffs. Okay, and um, some people will argue that you're um – that your bracket was probably one of the easier brackets to get to. Um, just elaborate on that and talk about how the, um, the experience of going through the Baltimore City League helped you for that. Well, Dunbar, a first round game against Dunbar, that, you know, I wouldn't consider that too easy. <laughs> right. And then you're facing a team in Randallstown who has a lot of history, a team that was 17 and six coming into the game, uh, one of the top teams in Baltimore County. Um, so, you know, I mean, we, we just play through. Our job is to get better as a team and uh, Really, I think tonight it was kind of a, kind of an ugly game, uh, but like I told the guys, it's really only two columns: it's a W column and a loss column, and we were happy to come out on front tonight. Okay, and um, just um, how important was it for you? Like I know, um, being on your staff, that how important it was for you to build and building the home field advantage, home court advantage, and establishing Clipper Nation. Just talk about Clipper Nation for a second. Well, that was big. You know, our fans uh, have really got into the games over the years. Uh, the last three regional championships we won, we won one in Morgan on a neutral site against Urbana. We had to go to Randallstown last year and win on their court, and then two years ago we went to Milford on their court. So to be able to do it in front of our fans, to be able to cut down the nets, um, you know, it's real special. I mean, how many chances a young man get a chance to cut down the nets uh, in their high school career? Absolutely. Um, and what are your prospects? Are I know I know you're um, you're big on one game at a time, but what are your prospects on? Um, on what you guys are going to do at the Xfinity Center? Well, you know, and this is kind of unique. Uh, it was unique last year to us, too, playing Friday, Saturday. So it almost forces you to uh, prepare for two opponents, kind of like the NCAA tournament playing on uh, Thursday, Saturday, or Friday, Sunday. So we'll, we'll look at all the teams uh, that we have coming up. Uh, I heard uh, Wacomico beat Harper Tech, so we'll play Wacomico down there, a great program. And then if we're fortunate after that, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll have the other team prepared also. Okay. And just the last question, just um, – just like I know the I know the answer, but I just wanted just want you to get get it on record so so my listeners will know. Like, who's your influence? Who's your coaching influence? Well, uh, you know, I mean, you, you take from a lot of different guys, uh, like on uh, the college level, uh, Bobby Knight, Coach K, uh, Tom Izzo from Michigan State. There's a lot of, you take bits and pieces from each one of them. Uh, you know, we had an experience here where we were under uh, Coach Wren who was, uh, you know, in the State Hall of Fame for football and basketball, for football and baseball. Uh, you know, I learned a lot from him the time we were here also in terms of uh, building a great coaching staff, uh, the preparation uh, and practice, those types of things. Uh, so, you know, Coach Rand on the high school level, even though he didn't coach basketball, had a great influence and then a lot of different college coaches. Okay, thanks, Coach. All right, Coach. And again, congratulations.